And while we look to the future today, we cannot forget that very first mission to the moon. The first names people associate with the moon landing are Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin. But there was another man, a third man on Apollo 11, Michael Collins, the command module pilot. He orbited the moon while Armstrong and Aldrin got to walk on its surface. Many might think Collins missed out on a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, but the Apollo astronaut says he has no regrets. The fact that I did not walk on the moon to me was really kind of superficial. I felt that I was a, a, a full third partner in the venture. For Michael Collins, the mission of Apollo 11 was clear, complete President Kennedy's goal. I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the earth. That was a wonderfully uh, simplistic uh, mandate uh, that helped us a lot in our preparations for, uh, for going to the moon. We knew exactly what we were supposed to do. For Collins, that meant piloting the command module known as Columbia, separating from the final stage of the Saturn V. Then, the complex task of turning Columbia around to dock with the lunar landing module, helping set the stage for the most famous touchdown in space history. Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. A task Collins says could only happen if everything went according to plan. Well, the daisy chain, that's what worried me. The idea that in order to have a successful moon landing, you had to have a series of relatively minor events each one of which was successful. If one of them was unsuccessful, the whole scheme went down the drain. But as Armstrong and Aldrin worked on the surface, Collins spent the next 21 and a half hours in solitude, worried he may not reunite with his colleagues, but not bothered by the fact that he was alone, 238,900 miles from home. When, for example, I was behind the moon and not quite knowing what was going on, uh, I was asked after the flight, weren't you terribly lonely, the loneliest man in this whole lonely mission in the lonely history of this lonely planet? Weren't you lonely? And I said, no, not at all. I was happy. Now, 50 years later, as this nation prepares to return to the moon, Collins says that should serve as a stepping stone to what he believes should be the main focus. I think NASA should be renamed the National Aeronautics and Mars Administration and... Uh, and, and I, I bring that notion with me over the past 50 years. I'm still looking for Mars, and I'm, I'm thinking, it's getting closer. 